Hey, how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and this will be video one of my playthrough of Age of Empires 3 Fire and Shadow campaign on the new Definitive Edition. I know I just completed the Blood, Ice, and Steel campaign, and I had so much fun that I am now immediately jumping into the second campaign. I don't know if continue will work, and I'm too afraid to try, so I'm going to click on it. And I know in this campaign... Pronouncing words is going to be an issue. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. At the dawn of the American Revolution, the nations of the Iroquois... Oh yeah, they changed uh, the name of the Iroquois. Yeah, face their greatest challenge. And while this loads, why not like the video and subscribe to see more? My father, Nathaniel Black, was a hero of the American Revolution who fought with the colonial army at Bunker Hill, Trenton, and Saratoga. Hold the line! And he was there at the end, at Yorktown. Oh. But his story begins six years earlier, in his village, where he had grown up. The six nations of the Confederacy split apart as the fires of the American Revolution spread northward. Nathaniel's world would never be the same. So the Seneca have joined with the Mohawk. Yes. Both tribes think the British will protect them. This is a white man's war. We must counsel the Seneca and the Mohawk to stay out of the fight. Uncle Canyon, if we don't choose a side, one will be chosen for us. We must defend our homes. It's not a matter for young warriors to decide. But mother... No more, Nathaniel. You will accompany me to the villages of our brothers. You will be silent. You will learn. That's okay. So those are the same characters from Blood Ice and Steel. So that's the son of the black family member from Act Two. Perhaps yeah. the reports about okay. the Mohawk and Seneca allying with the British have been exaggerated. You were saying, Uncle? Do I jump immediately into the fight? Waktari. Ek. Looks like you've got a bit of fight left in you, Uncle. Kill now! Ken. Talk later! Okay. The enemy went for it. We should journey to the Oneida village. Are you, like, just yeah, got the Oh, they ran away? Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Before we start, I don't remember this at all. I don't know if I played this Una as a kid. Ten. I'm freaking out a little bit. Didn't realize it'd still be the black Ike. family, and I love okay. it. All right, back to it. <laughs> Greetings, Nathaniel. We are being raided by two tribes across the river. We're here to help if we can, War Chief. We accept your help in our battle. All right, so I get to take over. So another thing I want to admit, did not normally play as the Native American people, the American Indian people. When I played as a kid, I normally played as European powers or the Asian powers. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. I'm kind of excited to try the try something new. Oh, so you're just a scout, I presume. All right. It's like we're in a... Whoa, that's beautiful. That's so cool. Okay, getting distracted. Task villagers on the community plaza gather five treasures. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, message received. Oh my gosh, okay, jeez. Okay, so they're hiding in the trees, which is pretty cool. So this is the community plaza. So if I remember, this was the fire pit before, and I think they probably changed the name because... Oh, who knows? The Mohawk lived to the northeast. The Seneca lived to the northwest. Probably for the same reason they changed the Battles colonial Battles between age. tribes are often decided by a swift show of force. If we destroy one tribe's town center, the other tribe will stop fighting as well. More villagers have come to join us. We should put them to work gathering resources. You don't say, but like... Wait. So I cannot gather gold? 
Rock, 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 Destroy one enemy tower. That mission changed. But while we're doing it, we'll gather treasures. And then let's make my villagers stronger. My pioneer Native Americans, yes. Let's do food, very nice. Should probably familiarize myself with so I can get tomahawks, which is sweet. So those are houses, more tomahawks. Onahuake, Ike, Katorats. Gather the five treasures while our archives. <laughs> Gather food faster. Wakta on a ho yeka ike wake. Oh, naka, don't you have? But there you go, sir. Wakta on a hot yeka carry went to Waktare. Hen, take a ten years. The end, yeka ten years. On a hot end. Nice. How cute. So we can build a siege workshop. We can build a corral, which I don't think. Oh, I do. That's the corral. <laughs> Units don't require gold. Am I? Is, is my sim just unable to find gold? Oh, started recording and didn't know. Hen, Kaka. All right, hey, scout. What for you? Una hota. Sheep. Town center. Control. Hen. We're okay. gonna increase your numbers with these hoten. new units. Ike. There we go. Keep going, we trust you. Oh. So I'm thinking age up, get a siege workshop, get up there, and while I'm waiting I will gather these two more treasures. Over. Early coin building. Another good roll. Ah, don't you have? Oh. Six more soldiers, please. Housing's doing good. So, you put these tribal marketplaces next to the copper mine, and then up to ten villagers can work it, and it takes the copper out of the mine, so... Alright. That feels a lot more like Age of Empires 2. We had to build a mine next to the resource. So we got that treasure. Right now you're increasing production. How's our resource? We need to go ahead. Very nice. Join Hen. control group one. Once he's done, we will take this. Carry Wentos! Oh, or copper. Which is also gold, apparently. And then I need. 1200, 1000. Mantelettes, I remember being really obnoxious as like European or Japanese power to take out. Like their defense was really high. Because they were holding shields, more units. Another boom road. Oh wow, okay. Waktare, take out Kenyis. Take him out. Oh, oh wow. XP. Oh, don't you have more gold? Can I get XP from you? More damage units do. Perform spawn healers. Experience triple rate. Ooh, let's do that. Looks like it would benefit me to get as many villagers as possible there. Alright, we've completed the secondary objective. 
Alright, so I'm gonna say guard okay. there in guard mode. Look, 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 look. Join my look. cavalry unit. We're just gonna go up. Go up. Hang out over there. <sighs> Get in there. I want more villages really bad now. <laughs> now that I realize the power of the community plaza, which is not a dancing pit or a fire pit. It's not. Hen. Ye gatentis. We only need to destroy one of the two enemy town centers. Is that a permanent solution, though, Nathaniel? Is it? That's unacceptable. Yeah, one tough city. Melee cavalry. Okay. Oh, they get the job done. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We should focus our attacks on one tribe while defending our own village. I agree with you. Oh, no, the treasure. Treasure. I was never impressed by that. <laughs> do this. Alright, the A jump's coming. Totally forgot about this. Transforms into a free farm. Two free villagers. Hey. <sighs> oh. Ah, don't you have. So I do think I need to explore this tech tree a little, little bit more. more. Longhouse, do they do anything? Nope. Oh. Market, I can't believe I didn't Give build a market. Yeah, all the buildings are unrecognizable from the other ones, so that's a, a learning curve I need to get down. What's our... This doesn't look like a native nation. Get over there and get me experience. Food. Hunt faster, chop faster, mine faster. What's this? Attack and his points increase. So they uh, combine them into one tech. The European countries have two techs for that. I'll take a free farm for later and then we'll just keep mashing settlers. Oh, I can just build anything with this? That's cool. Very cool. This map is gorgeous. Especially this. I'm so pro this. Is that a their like hero unit. I accidentally run into their hero unit. <laughs> Alright, we gotta stop getting distracted. So you are guarding. Um, I didn't realize that we get a free... Wait, I could just build a falcon there. That seems... <laughs> Is that because I'm in the campaign? I get it's not as powerful as the mortar, but that doesn't seem like something that the native peoples just had. Alright, let's get some... More soldiers. See if we can pump out a third. That's a lot of gold. I'm asking for very quickly. Three cannons seems better. Ah. Oh, what have we got here now? 
Ah, oh, don't you have it. Uh, and once they finish off this copper, I'll just send them all over there. Uh, you guys, the farm can also fat and sheep. That's a nice combo. Oh, Alright, Alright. control seven. Ah, oh, don't you have it. Oh, okay. Too many people. Sweet. Oh, now what? Control group seven. Your siege units. Oh, okay. Ah, now what? Oh, don't you have? Oh, now what? 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 The units. Let's check the tech tree. Is there any like tech building I need to build? Oh, that was dramatic, guys. I need it. Oh, no, hold on. Ah, don't you have food? Let's max that out. Um, okay, let's do the attack. Ye katentis, ek. And we'll keep the cavalry. These are the Mohawk copper mines. Kaderio. Whoa, that's a lot. They have guns. They have allied themselves with someone. Just yeah, just rush it. Control group one will guard you. All throw at once, very nice. Oh, sweet victory cry. Are you really? That's how you're gonna walk there? Got it, go ahead. Walk to Ike, walk a. Ye got ten teeth. Carry one piece. Special attack. Special attack. Yeah, what hook? Got their ego. Yeah, what hook? Would have been a nice touch if they didn't make him look so European. Nothing wrong with some falcon nets, though. Send me some sheep, I need them. The Mohawk Town Center has been destroyed. Give up. Mission accomplished. That was a fun first level. Oh, this is awesome. I don't remember this campaign at all. It's like playing a brand new Age of Empires 3 campaign for me. Oh no. Who was it? What has happened here? Nathaniel, men with guns came. They took many. Look at that dude. Where is my mother? You left, you took all the fighting men and left. Oh, that was a big mistake. I choose new cards. So I can build two. I, I get two. I don't know if that's because I was gaining experience. Oh, what's this? Blue Six Revolution. Oh, that's cool. That's tempting. I know these are good at siege and just being obnoxious to like ranged units because they're hard to take out. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the revolutionaries because I'm interested in them. Homestead wagon. I'm going to go with four villagers because having a ton of villagers very quickly appears to be the strategy. Deck builder, alright, what do we have here? 15 out of 25, pretty bad. Are they all automatically added? Right. No need to save because I haven't changed anything. And that concludes part one of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition's campaign of Fire and Shadow. I'm very excited. I don't remember this at all. It feels like a brand new campaign. I imagine people who have played this before seeing my questions in the comments are making fun of me. Feel free to leave 
any of those remarks in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more, why not subscribe? This has been Noxus Flack, and I will see you in the next one.